Dear brothers and sisters, one day my friend told me that when he was a child, he did something terrible at home. Why? He was disappointed because his parents didn't give him what he asked for. In his anger, he broke the very expensive porcelain that was decorating the living room. He was shocked by what he had done. He ran away immediately because afraid of the punishment of his parents. He ran to his friend's house and didn't dare to come back home till evening. That night, his sister came to face him and asked him to come back home and told him that his parents had forgiven him. He felt released but still afraid that his parents would punish him. Nonetheless, he went back home and apologized to them. His parents were not angry and told him not to do what he had done. He promised that he would be a good child. After taking shower, he joined the dinner with delight. That night, he felt that he was the prodigal son and his family celebrated his coming home. The story of my friend is almost similar with the story of the prodigal son. The prodigal son knew he was not a good son because he asked the inheritance when his father was still alive. Then he spent all the money he got with his friends. When he had nothing left, he remembered his father and was willing to come back home. He planned to ask forgiveness from his father and became his servant. Then he went back home. Seeing his son from afar, the father ran to meet him, hugged him, and kissed him. We see the loving and compassionate father forgiving his unconditionally. Finally, the father ordered that the fatal calf be slaughtered for the celebration. He said, my son was dead and has come back to life, and he was lost and is found. My brothers and sisters, we also can experience God's loving and compassionate in the sacrament of reconciliation. We call this sacrament as the sacrament of welcome home. As the parents of my friend and the father of the prodigal son, our father is waiting for us in the confession room. He is willing to show us his tender heart. He is ready to forgive us with his unconditional love. There was an old priest who got sick of all the people in his parish who kept confessing adultery. One Sunday, from the pulpit, he said, If I hear one more person confess to adultery, I'll quit. Well, everyone liked him. So they came up with a good word. Someone who had committed adultery would say they had fallen. This seemed to satisfy the old priest, and things went well until the priest died at the right of old age. About a week after the new priest arrived, he visited the mayor of the town and seemed very concerned. The priest said, you have to do something about the set walks in town. When people come to the confessional, they keep talking about having fallen. The mayor started to laugh, realizing that no one had told the new priest about the good word. Before the mayor could explain, the priest shook an accusing finger at the mayor and said, I don't know what you are laughing about. Your wife fell three times this week. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, when people come for confession, 
they show their feelings of guilty and regret. They feel that they are going to prison and ready to be punished. Nevertheless, when we come for the confession, we are celebrating God's love and mercy. We are celebrating His forgiveness and our freedom of sin. Before we go for confession, we are prisoners by our own sins. But when we go for confession, we are going to be set free. My brothers and sisters, when we are able to experience God's loving and forgiveness, we are also able to love and forgive others. Amen.